What's going on, everyone? Hope you're all well. Um, I just came back from a 400 mile round trip to London and back. So I've left my miners in the mine for the last, I think, just over 24 hours. And this is the amount of gems that I got, which is nuts. I'm just six miners, right? So <laughs> yeah, got a lot of gems. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some rental weapons. I made some small amount of income from my rental weapon so far. In case you, don't, you guys don't know, I'll show you here in market. We've got this NPC here called Paul. You click on him and then you can rent items. So for example, a plus seven club, you can rent it for 50K uh, an hour. So let me just show you the concept of it. So uh, I'll do it on another account because I don't have it. I'm not going to hunt right now go to bed in a bit but what i will do is let's go on chief here so right, he's currently leveling bow proficiency so let's take him to the city and i'll just rent something i don't know what i'm gonna rent. maybe a bow oh, no we'll rent we'll rent uh uh do, do, do. what level am i level 97 so let's go max level 100 apply and then so what we could do is we can rent anything like kind of level 70 to and i'm thinking to go all right so we can, we can go equipment type and then we'll leave headgear necklace or ring because these are the ones that i don't have I've got a super rainbow gem in my armor, super rainbow gem in my boots, and then violet gem. So ideally, I think, okay, now what we'll do is, let's turn off this. Cool, so we've just got ring, necklace, and headgear. And then what you can do is you can actually select that you're after a violet gem. Right here on apply filter. And crazily, there are actually some, which is, <laughs> that's incredible. So, uh, look at that. That is brilliant. Gengo, what are you doing? You need to add your guild discount, man. Look at this guy's making cheddar off of us. Uh, okay. So, let me rent then. So, these are all one sock. He's got two sock necklace there. This is everything that I can rent. So, uh, let's... Okay, that's fine. Let's transfer some money over to Chief. So we'll do uh necklace 200k an hour let's do 10 hours so we'll do 2 million so for 2 million i can rent trade that your husband wants to trade with you hello oh it's going to be more than 2 million actually because of repairs Annoyingly, you have to do the whole thing again, which is annoying. Lag, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what's happening there. This is weird. So you can open the warehouse from here, but you can't interact with it. You have to jump closer. That's like a bit weird, but it doesn't matter. So we go first socket, uh, violet gem, and then we go max level 100. Apply filter. There we go. So now we'll rent Gengar's. Bro, Gengar, you should give me, <laughs> give me my, give me half the price back. Uh, okay. So click it and then view details, and then so you can rent it for sixty-one hours from him. So I'll do ten hours. Uh, rent, and then oh, you can not rent an item for more than four hours. Really? That seems a bit silly. Do four hours or we'll going do four hours? Four hours, 400k. Uh, yes, so boom, rent that, and then now so he just got 400k from me, and now I can wear his necklace with two super violet gems in it. So this is a really cool way that you could, um, you could obviously level your bow proficiency or whatever it is that you want to level, and you could do this for various different things. So, um, I'm gonna carry on, I'm gonna rent, uh, Let's do equipment type. 
and then we'll just turn off weapons. Maybe I'll rent a boat or something. So, wear helmet for 50k, boots, necklace. So, we've got necklace already. Let's do is. Here's a ring we wanted. There was a super ring I saw. There we go, this one. So we'll rent this ring, view details, and we'll do so. It's available for 64 hours, but I can only rent it for a maximum of four. Fine. 200k. Boom. This is really cool, right? Amazing. I, I love this. This is absolutely fantastic. Um now I don't know the all of the rules around renting gear. Um and the rental system so forgive me but um i'm pretty sure you, you can't pk on it but you can use it in guild war and some of the other events like that uh correct me if i'm wrong guys if you play on the server if you play on the server and, and you're bothered uh just write some of the rules in the comments and i'll pin it but yeah uh anything that i didn't mention so rent these ears boom wear it and then now look at that so i can level a bunch of my bow proficiency and my bow should level really fast which is amazing um wondering if i should level up my bow let's see let's try let's try and buy some mets level up my bow You'd think that as an archer i would have um you think i have mets but i don't hunt at all like at all so take off this bow oops oh my bloody hotkeys hate having to do this every time What happens is because I always disconnect, then it means that I have to slowly reset my hotkeys every time. Well annoying. Okay, so max level I can take it is level 95. Important to bear that in mind. Improved. We level 90 now. That one's PK. Let it go. Get the crap out. There we go. Now I can't wear my bow because I need agility 204. So just quickly do that. Go. Can wear it. And I'm thinking now that my um oh, this guy can try PK me. Get out of here. So now I should hopefully level my Oh, so what I'm planning on doing with this video is I've got a whole bunch of two sock uh, normal weapons and stuff that I want to create um, some rental gear for. Is that fast? That's not really fast, is it? Look, that's actually leveling quite slow, even though I've got all of this. It'd be amazing if you was allowed to like manipulate the item. So, for example, you could level it up <laughs> for yourself and then. It would just de-level back to the original item, but it should not be quite complicated. Let's go up to level 20 just to see if um, it would level faster up there. I was getting about 0 0.001 per... Um, per hit there. It's about the same, isn't it? There's not a notable difference, so I would say leave it at um, at the higher stakes, right? Because then at least I can get EXP to level as well. So what's going to happen is even though um, even though I've only rented these for four hours, right? In four hours time, they're just going to disappear off of me and then um, I'm just going to be left with no ring no necklace and no ears but that's fine because obviously i own the bow however just note that obviously if you was to leave it in tg i don't think anyone would buy these rent gear for tg that would be a bit weird i've just done it just to show you uh what i'm doing 
usually it makes sense to do this and then go and for example hit the gate for a bit um yeah anyway so that's how that works so let me show you what i'm gonna do uh firstly let's sell all of the normal gems because i'm not gonna put them in any gear they're actually worth it to sell as well so we'll come trade to seller here let's uh give this dude 8.5 mil all right and then so i'm just gonna go through and put all the normal gems normal 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 normal, normal. find super okay so i've got one super moon gem which is really good basically the the owner of the server has released oh I've got another super moon gem nice so the owner of the server has released like this new update which allows you to enchant your gear using super gems i you know you get like for example like two hp per gem so for me you know i don't care about hp you know i'm i'm weak as fudge so you know example here on my account here i've got two two thousand five hundred hp you know there's no point in me spending moon, super gems on uh on hp however let's just check so i've got one super two supers ah, and i've got super value gem so i've got three super gems which is really nice so what i'm gonna do is instead of me saving them and using them for you know the end game when i get really good and i can get extra hp i'm gonna sell the crap out of them for now so what i'll do is on this account just the price of super gems just shot up big time so i'm gonna list these i've sold a few recently for two million i'm just gonna list these for three million i don't know how desperate the big guys uh are however super gems are super rare <laughs> so you're not gonna find any super gems on market so someone who's looking to stack up super gems and these guys i think they're looking to spend like whatever it is 50 super gems on one item so you know if a guy's got two free accounts and he wants to get all of his gear enchanted so he can you know be the absolute best trojan possible you know power to him he should be willing to pay <laughs> nine million for free super gems which is funny because i've actually sold super gems like two and three weeks ago i've got probably about like 10 over the last month and i've sold a few super gems for like 50k 100k like k not million k thousand so that was because before the before the gm introduced the update they were just worthless you know no one really wanted them so uh but now obviously no chance of selling them let me just give these violet gems over to Drinkable panda as well all right so i'm going to try this again i keep on getting disconnected it's driving me nuts mate it's not actually server although the server does sub does sometimes disconnect but my internet just keeps dropping for some reason so i keep having to reset all of my accounts it's driving me nuts anyways um so i've set up my seller with all of the gems here i actually bought another super gem for 1kk i've list relisted it for 2.5kk so hopefully these four should go and then i'll get 10 million for four super gems anyways uh i also just bought this for 400k just literally a, a plain level 115 two violet gem uh, bow so i'm gonna stick that out for rent and then let's pull out all of the two socks that i've got so uh, that's my p level stuff that's plus one bit here we go we've got a low level wand bow slave we don't need that two sock dagger two sock lucky blade i think i'll keep that for p leveling uh two sock club bow sword and then glaive bow spear back sword club scepter glaive bow and then another bow okay so the plan the ultimate plan is because it is actually it's quite competitive renting gear on the server however one thing i do like is that because you can only list it for a maximum i'll show you guys actually if i come to pull here and then use this bow for example stick it here uh start okay wait enter price so let's go 50k and then we do duration i think you can do maximum so let me try anyways i'll try 100 hours right so 100 hours to list this bow up right start renting and you can only do it for maximum 72 which i think is really good reason being is 
a lot of the older guys, you know, they, meaning the, the guys that have been on the server the longest, the best players, right? They've got so much gear that they could put up for rent. And because you can only put it up for 72 hours, which is a few days, um, they have to be active. So if they're not active, you know, then their items aren't going to be listed for rent, which means that people like me can actually make some money because there's less items available for rent because all the old guys... Imagine if you could just put your item up for two months, for example. You can just log in every two months or log in, you know, randomly put your items up for two months and then bounce again. So I really like the fact that it's two hours max, uh, 72 hours maximum. I've actually earned 37k, which is cool. So I'll go check my rentings and then I can claim this club. So let's claim my earnings, 37,500. Claim that, boom. And then now with the club, I can just relist it. So let's relist. There you go. I've relisted my club now. And what's cool is that once they expire, I can just log on and just relist all of them. So anyways, uh, let's put this ball back up here. Then let's do hourly fee 50K. Annoyingly, the minimum you can do is 50K. I would love to do a lot less. Um, and I wish that you could rent for a lot more than four hours. That seems a bit silly to me. Like it would make sense, you know, especially in terms of borrowing gear. People always want to borrow gear. So if I can put up, I can put it up for less than 50k and rent it for you know set like a maximum of 24 hours or something so i just have to log on once every day and just rent your gear again that would be cool anyways 72 hours start renting and then uh, i can't offer a 50 percent discount because it's under 50k so let's go okay there you go and then now i believe these are all plain so let's do all of the moon gems first so i've got a whole bunch of gems here let's get all the moon gems out the moon gems is only going to be for like the back sword and the swords and the daggers right so let's scroll to pc it's castle and come over here so let's do this back sword Doesn't allow me to shift click, which is socket gem. There we go. The back sword done. We'll do the sword as well. Because obviously people need to level Phoenix. Socket gem. And then what my plan is to do eventually is to look at what's been listed and then use Mets to upgrade them. So for example, this level 20 sword might not be the best buy. Um maybe it makes more sense to level that up to level 70. I don't know. So uh, I'll do that another time. But for this video, I just want to show you guys what my plan is to try and make some money. So obviously it doesn't make sense to put moon gems inside the club. You know, you level rage quickly anyways. Not going to put it inside a bow. I don't know if there's anything else. You're not going to put uh, moon gems inside a wand. Doesn't make sense. You level uh, snow very quickly anyways. I don't know about Skepta and Glaive. I've personally never used the Skepta. I know it's stronger than a club. Um, yeah, so I think that's it really for moon gems. So I need to get rid of all these refined moon gems. These are all pointless to me. Um, let's just see if I have any more two socks. Or if I... Oh, I can't use remote warehouse. Except in the market. Okay. So remote warehouse... Oh, I do actually. Look, yes, 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 yes. I do have more. Nice, 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 nice. Very good, very good. Okay, so that worked out well. Um, let's go back here. Here, yeah, so we're gonna put it inside the dagger. Forgive me, I've got a bit of a cold. So in the dagger we go, then. This is another dagger. Nice, nice. I'm happy. Glad I didn't forget them. Oh, interesting. I didn't I only put one. Put it in swords as well. Level 115 sword. Okay, yes, yes. This is level 12, so yeah. 
because it doesn't make sense to put uh, violet gems inside the uh, inside a level 115 weapon because obviously you need level 12 weapon proficiency to use it anyways why is it not socketing the second one i'm, I'm having to press it twice what's going on there no why you can't do two at once seems like you can't do two at once that is ridiculous but maybe my others didn't do it no yeah they did Okay, you're not going to put it inside a blade, blade, dagger, dagger, sword. Okay, let's go back to market then. And then we go to pool. Dagger, dagger there, hourly fee, 50k. There's no, look, you can't do 5k, for example. Minimum fee is 50 if you know why the minimum is 50,000, let me know, please, because I would not mind doing 10K an hour. I don't mind that. Anyways, so start renting. Oh, you have to repair them all first. That's a bugger. So maybe the best thing to do here is to <laughs> this is going to cost a lot of money. 236,000 to repair my whole inventory. Okay. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Save time in it. Alright, so oh I've just stored it into the warehouse, haven't I? Alright, same again. So dagger, 50k. I really, really, really respect the the person that came up with this idea. This person is an absolute genius and deserves a medal, man. 50k. Uh, 72 hours, start renting, boom, and we've got daggers, okay, 72 hours, so my plan is to, I mean, with, if this update with the enchanted gems didn't happen, my plan would have been to, um, to just upgrade these as time goes on into super gems, but now that super gems have become stupidly expensive, I'm guessing that refined gems are going to become more important and more acceptable on the server and so then people will start to just you know be happy to rent with refined or whatever so yeah that's my plan i wonder if there's a limit to how many items i can put up for rent so i've got six right now if you know comment please let me know i don't like to be a pain and ask you know like ask on the Discord or is there is there a limit to how many items you can put up for rent and then it gets into a big discussion. But if you know, please comment down below, let me know. 72, 50k. Boom. Okay, so we've got eight items up for rent right now. Nice, look at that. Makes me happy to see that. Alright, and um Remind me as well, you know, if you're watching this in a few months' time, and if I haven't done an update, remind me to do an update on this. So I believe that's all the moon gems I need now. So because I'm I'm not really planning on using this archer going forward, right? Because I've obviously got my Trojan archer chief. So I'm thinking I could just leave a lot of stuff in this in the market here. Um, let's store these refined gems. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every time I travel, I get sick. It's annoying, man. I have to eat run-down food. Or I, I run myself down and just eat rubbish food. Okay. So, um... Now for the fun part, let's do... So, is there any more refined violet gems? That's it. So, come back to here now. So, we're going to go wand. Two violet gems. Oh, super. I need to be careful. I don't want to put a super in. 
all, all refined here. But why can't I put two in at one time? Okay, that worked. Whip. <laughs> Is anyone going to need a whip? I don't know. We'll do the whip last. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know what was funny? I think maybe it didn't work when I was trying to put two in because I tried to put two of the same one in, possibly. You know, like, so if I... So let's do club. I feel like club is going to be a little bit saturated. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that have already done club. Um. Anyways, just so I think I know why it didn't allow me. Because look... Clicking on the same one twice, it doesn't reduce the amount of violet gems. So now when I press socket, I think it's only going to socket one because I've clicked on the same one twice. Check it out. Socket. And yeah, you can see it's only done it once. Okay, so that, that was the mistake I was doing. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, so let's do all the bows because I feel like majority of people that play this server are playing as archers, right? And... um. Archers always want... Archers, firstly, always have gold. Secondly, they always want to level up their bow proficiency. So, in case you're wondering as well where I got all of these gems from, I just have miners in... Uh, oh, he's got a gem there. Gem. I just got one, two, three, four, five, and six, if you include my drinkable panda. So, I've got six miners. So... They're always mining and you would get these refined gems and people drop them. So I figured it just makes sense to um, try and make some money out of the refined dra uh, dragon gems and or refined, uh, all the refined gems, basically. Let's go blade. Someone's going to want to level their blade proficiency, although I feel like that's going to be saturated as well. Spear. We'll do spear. This guy just got reborn and scrolled to Phoenix Castle. Actually, I could have, could have deaded him off. Would have dropped a Super Dragon Gem. All right, level 15 Hunting Bow. Man, like Darks. This guy's cool. Um, he's sitting under the guard. <laughs> Clever stuff. Um, slave, Spear. I'm not really bothered if I get PK. That's why I haven't moved. I, he would. I don't think he wouldn't PK me, anyways. I know some other noobs would. Um, fine, just for the sake of it. Okay. Uh, the glaive. I think over eighty-five glaive. Let's go with that one. That's it. Then I'm out of uh, violet gems. Okay, and then I'll just store away in here all of the ones that I didn't do. I didn't put anything in. We go okay so let's see now if there is a limit to what you can put on pool i've currently got eight we'll go over one 50k 72 hours well 50k hours Fifty. Again, I don't know if this is is if this is profitable. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't have a clue. So. I suppose my channel is not really a uh, a channel on how to play the game. It's a channel probably on more so how not to play the game. Because I'm sure one of you guys is going to tell me that this is absolutely a dumb idea. And I don't mind that. If it is a dumb idea, let me know. Oops. Okay. 50k. Oh, so look, I've got 16 items up for rent and they haven't hasn't been limited yet to be honest with you even if it does get limited i can just switch to another account and do it but there's currently 43 pages of items up for sale so 
quite a lot. So that's why the filters are important. And I, I'm actually thinking that probably like this rental system is quite important on this server. Like people talk about it a lot. So I'm thinking that uh, EM will probably improve the system over time. So if he does, it's just gonna make mean that it become more and more important as the server continues on. There we go. So I've got twenty items listed. That's cool. I think they're all normal. Um. Now, one thing that's interesting is I'm always mining, and I always just leave my gear in. I've got some more. For that way. I'm just thinking that I always leave my gear uh, I always leave my gear in bank I'm thinking that it might make sense to just list it because I'm always mining anyway so I rarely actually use my gear I don't know how I feel about this Okay, yeah, so anyways, that's the rental system. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to put my main gear up for sale. I don't uh, feel like doing that to me. I think probably it makes sense to do, but I'm... Um, I like freedom. I like to be able to just log on and play whenever I want, and it would wind me up if someone was renting my bow and they were only paying 50k an hour. And so for the next like three hours, I couldn't use my bow, even though I wanted to, and I had the time and the motivation to do to be level. And then I couldn't do it because someone was using my bow and I got 150k for it. That would just buy me up. What's 150k? Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll do my best to give you guys an update. Uh, you get alerts when your items get rented out, so I'll know in what's 72 hours? Is that three days, right? 24. 48, 72, yeah, three days. So I'll know. Uh, maybe I'll do an update in three days' time. Yeah, let you guys know uh, if I manage to make any money. It seems, because I rented one out for 50k, it seems like there's a gold sink whereby, correct me if I'm wrong, and if, again, if, um, if you know, let me know, because I, someone rented out my club for 50k, but I only got 35k or something like that. So I'm guessing there's like a 30% tax, which goes to the server, which is used as gold sink. So that makes it even less profitable than I thought to be honest with you. But again, I don't, I don't know that to be the case. So if you play the server, let me know if you know. Uh, other than that, yeah, I've got 20 items up for rent. I feel quite good about it. I've emptied out my uh, stack of gems. Again, I didn't need... I just had a whole bunch of refined gems and so it made sense really to get rid of them and uh yeah that's it so that's the video i shall see you guys in the next one take care